Welcome back. On August 9th, 1969, the Manson family brutally murdered Sharon Tate and four others. Anthony DeMaria is the nephew of Hollywood stylist Jay Sebring, who was one of those victims. He has a new documentary out today that is putting the spotlight on his uncle. They were living, breathing people who were alive and who were here. Jay isn't just this character from true crime history. Anthony, thank you so much for joining us today. It's my pleasure, JC. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. You, you, you do a great job on the show. Enjoy. Thank you. Um, so before we get into what happened 51 years ago, that horrific night, and the new documentary you have coming out, tell us more about your uncle, Jay Sebring. Well, uh, essentially, Jay Sebring created men's hair styling, and he called it men's hair designing. And pre-Sebring, a man would walk into a barber shop and pick one of 12 cuts and have it literally slapped on his head. But what Jay did is he decided, I'm going to implement what has been uh, reserved for women and create the custom cut for men. And he's credited for giving Jim Morrison of The Doors his look. And he has a unique connection to, to the Rat Pack. What was his connection to the Rat Pack? So they literally flew him out to the sands and he cut not only Jack and Trotter's hair, uh, but every one of the Rat Pack, Sammy Davis, Joey Bishop, Peter Lawford, and uh, with the exception of Dean Martin, which is interesting. But, uh, and then from there, he literally became the uh, personal hair designer of the entire Rat Pack and everyone that performed at the Sands. Now, your uncle's connection to Sharon Tate, what was, what was their, their connection? How, how were the two bonded together? Joe Hyams was a Hollywood publicist, and he was assigned to do a piece on Sharon. And when he heard that Joe was doing the, the piece on her, they discussed and somehow Jay showed up at the interview and uh, Joe said, hey, it's Jay, this is Sharon Tate, Sharon Tate, good friend, Jay Sebring. And, uh, and as Joe describes it, they sat and uh, once the interview was over and Jay joined them and then uh, the next morning, as Joe describes, he said that he called Jay to see how it went and uh, uh, Sharon answered the phone. So evidently it went well. Well, let's go back to that night, August of 1969. I know it's got to be so hard, but can you talk us through that evening and what happened with your uncle? No one knows, and no one's really shown any regard to the victims, not only in their lives, but also what had happened in that room that night. We've been doing parole hearings with the district attorney's office in Los Angeles, and I've gotten to know them quite well, and they allowed me to go over all the testimony. And that was yet another impactful moment where when I read what, what Jay, what he actually did, that I became even more compelled to have it be known. And our film looks into his definitive last actions in a very comprehensive forensic way. With the movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, we saw, if you watched the, the trailer for, for your documentary, we see you talking to Quentin Tarantino. Did you watch the movie? And how did you feel your uncle's, uncle was portrayed in that movie? Uh, Quentin said, he says, I'm not claiming to be telling Jay's or Sharon's story. I'm using, I'm infusing them in my own story. Mm -hmm. And that's important that, you know, that I appreciated that he stipulated that. And it is true. Anthony, we appreciate your time so much. And I, I look forward to, to watching the documentary and learning about your uncle and, and hearing more of his story. Thank you so much for joining us. JC, my pleasure. I'm a big fan of your show. You do a great job. And uh, pleasure was all mine. It really is a fascinating story. Anthony's uh, mom and dad moved here to Las Vegas. Their eventual plan was to move to L.A. to be with Jay, and th then the murders took place. So his family stayed here in Vegas, and Anthony, a Vegas guy his whole life. He actually graduated from Bishop Gorman High School, so there's Vegas connections to the documentary. And so many times we, we do hear about the loss of life with Sharon Tate, and, and we don't hear about the other names as often, so it's really good that we're bringing this to light. I, I look forward to seeing that documentary also. Yes, uh, J.C. Bring Cutting to the Truth. It actually hits on demand and did for Watch at Home today.